Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. It is a lovely sunny Sunday to be alive and we are gonna blow with some makeup today. So today I know what I want to do because I'm gonna do more of a, like an eye look today so I'm gonna focus more on that but what, I'm, what I think what I'm also gonna do is um it's very sunny in England right now. I'm sure it's gonna go away next week and that's fine <laughs> but I thought I'd also show you how I sort of um prep my skin for when it's really sunny and bright outside because I'll get really oily really quick in the heat um and nobody's gonna see me today anyway and that's fine but i just thought i'd show you how i do it anyway first things first if you're going outside right now please put on some sunscreen please please put on sunscreen i have sunscreen even on my hands and i'm not even sat directly in the sunlight and i have sunscreen on if you're brown and you think oh i don't need sunscreen because my melanin protects me that's a lie they lie to you you need to put sunscreen on put it on okay Save your skin. You don't want to be 50 and then going, why is my skin looking like this? You didn't put sunscreen on, right? Now that that's out the way, what I'm going to do, what I did is I primed with the e.l.f. moisturising moisture lock primer. And this was actually, this actually felt really cool on my skin, which was really nice. Now what I'm going to do is I'm I'm going to effectively set my face and I haven't, I haven't even put anything on yet. Also, if you hear anything, if you hear any noises, machines, washing machines going, mum's cooking in the kitchen, still better listening to one extra so you might hear reggae music in the background creeping as is always 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 that's just a thing and it's also wash day again hence why we're like this so setting my face what i'm gonna do is the number seven um the number seven loose powder mine's in the shade dark is the perfect light loose powder what i'm gonna do is just literally with the little you know blow puffy thing you can't, it came with i'm gonna take some of it this is also a really good trick if you want coverage but you don't want to cake things on your face and it's also an oily girl hack so for those of us who get you know extremely shiny pretty much i'm just gonna take it and like where i know i'm gonna get really oily and makeup's gonna break up a quicker so literally here here and like around here i'm just gonna set it down with powder first and what it does is it sort of like locks in all the moisture that's already on my skin and sort of helps keep the um the oils at bay some people do do it with um a wet sponge um i don't just because i don't i just prefer to do it with um a normal just like velour puff thingy mobby i look really weird i know that i'm aware of how weird i look right not gonna lie this isn't like the best powder like in terms of shade but we're gonna go with it because what we have and nobody's gonna see it anyway so once i've done that i'm effectively just you know I'm effectively just gonna do everything else like I normally would so you know um blush and highlight under my um foundation even though I already put powder on you might think you put in liquid on top of the powder doesn't look this is one of those things where you need to know the rules in order to break them um so in this case it does work so I'm just gonna speed through this because this isn't really you know the bits on read it's not really what we're gonna focus on I'm just gonna speed through that part so for concealer, I'm still going to use the same two that I normally use, which is the Fenty um, Pro Filter and the um, Benefit Boing. The only thing I'm going to do differently this time is with the Boing. I love saying this. is weird to say, but I like saying it. I'm going to use that mainly as my concealer. So still put it in the same places. So just here and to the outer corner where my mouth. I look so weird whenever I do my concealer. <laughs> this is odd. But normal at the same time. Um, and then with the Fenty, I'm just gonna do my five head and just the bridge of my nose. Is that even straight? Oh, that actually is straight. Well done. I'll brighten up my under eye later, but right now that's just all I wanna do for, you know, the face concealer anyway. So I'm gonna go in actually with a damp sponge this this time um, and then use that to blend out like around my mouth. The hair situation this week, the facial hair situation this week is a little bit more severe than normal weeks. So we just gotta roll with the punches. It's the joys of polycystic ovaries. I don't think I'm actually gonna use brushes today for like complexion. I don't know why I think obviously bar like, you know, blush and, blush and highlight. But I just feel like today's a sponge kind of day. Then for foundation, I'm actually going to use two today. I'm using the Benefit one and the Fenty one. With the Benefit, 
this one is gonna go more in my problem areas i say problem areas the places where my skin is not as even so you know like down here and this like this is where i need you know most of my coverage then with the fenty this one i'm gonna place a little bit higher up or if you're doing this and your skin is just uneven and you need certain things in certain places you could also always just do that i'm doing it where i kind of need different colors to even out my skin down i just put a little bit down here as well i'm just gonna go back in with my sponge and blend all of this out Notice I haven't even touched my under eye yet. I'm just leaving that to do its thing. Or my nose, really. Now I can go and blend out all of that under eye concealer. That Benefit concealer, it does dry down. So if your sponge really isn't as damp as it should be, you won't really um, fully ever probably look weird as well right now. Your concealer might not blend out as easily. So you might just need to like, you know, do a little bit of face spray. Um, not even face spray, setting spray. So straight on, I'm gonna set with the Fenty um, uh pro filter setting powder i'm just gonna take it and just dust it on my under eye just to bright just to brighten up a little bit and to also you know obviously set my makeup i'm gonna speed through and or just you know rather do my, my blush and my bronzer off the camera because we don't need to see that because we're gonna focus on the eyes today right so i'm gonna go do that and we should be back right so face is pretty much done my eyebrows are doing nothing, I don't know what it is. And some guy is fixing his motorbike outside. I tried to wait. But I'd be here all day if I waited for him to stop that. So I'm sorry if you are hearing that. So. Eyeshadow time. So there's like a color, one one color in here that I really love and I want to play with, which is Throne. Um, it's literally like this really shimmery, dark, deep emerald green. And I just think it's absolutely gorgeous. And I really want to play with it, and I sort of have an idea. It's not exactly summer friendly, uh, to, to be to be quite honest. I just had the idea, and I thought I'm gonna do it. It's not like I'm going outside anyway, so I was like, I might as well. Why not? So we're gonna start with Unity, and I'm gonna put run that um, in my crease, sort of as my transition shade. Then with a the slightly fluffy brush, I'm gonna take Parallel. Is it Parallel? Yeah parallel which is like the um deep brown just a little bit of it and put that as well in my um just like directly in my crease just to give some sort of like definition to my eye first i like to point out this is going to be a very you know dark look i say dark not necessarily dark but you'll see what i mean right now we're going to take obsidane which is literally jet into a void black and we're going to take that on the Morphe B43, which is a really um, dense packing. Well, it's kind of a packing brush, kind of a blending brush, the ones that are like, you know, in between. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this on the outer V and, a, and on the inside a little bit. So I'm gonna just like pat it where I want it to go, the general shape of it. And I'm only using a little bit at a time. I'm just gonna pat it like up into my crease, like where I want it to go. Then right on the inside, and then switch back to the same one I put the brown with and then sort of blend that in the crease just so that they're like joining each other and now we're, I'm just gonna go pack it on a little bit to get it as dark as I possibly can or that I want really I should say and all you need to, all you need to do is just, so, is just go back over and just blend out the edges just to make sure that there aren't any harsh lines and they flow together we're kind of doing a halo eye kind of doing a cut crease one of the two like, you know, somewhere in between, we're, we're doing something like that. So when you look like you've been punched in the face, we're going to go cut our crease. Okay, we're not going to cut our crease. We're just, like, we're going to, hold on, hold on. I put a little bit of the Fenty concealer on the back of my hand. And with a really tiny little um, concealer brush, I'm just going to take it and carve out, like, the middle portion of my eye. um, Because that's where I'm going to want to put, um, throw an over it. So it kind of has something to stick to and it'll just be a lot more vibrant, really. Sort of like that. Obviously, you can see the difference between them. I mean, I'm actually gonna take my finger and put and use that to place the color down. Only because I'm not as worried about precision. Because I'm gonna go back in and blend stuff out anyway. Also, if you want to do the brush, you could. I'm I'm just not. Then what I'm gonna do is the same one that I put the brown with. Just take a little bit more and just blend out that edge real, real quick. And just 
touch up like the edges of the black just so that they all flow in together i like it yep we're, we're cool we're getting there what i want to do now is just make just, just just make that green be a little bit brighter so what i'm gonna use is i'm gonna use lucid which is basically as a silvery or white as you can get and just take a little bit and a really tiny little brush and just tap it along the center i use lucid because the um the green it has like silver undertones in it so silver sort of like flex that make it shimmer so that was the better option in the entire palette to use and now what we're gonna do is just for an inner corner i'm gonna put i'm gonna use a sphinx only because i haven't used it before and this one's more of a muted coppery one i'm gonna put that right in the corner and see how that, that looks hold on I need, there is some fallout so i don't need to brush it away Mm, that's, not, that's not bright enough we're gonna go to pyramid which is pretty much the gold one okay now that i like also because you make a mistake obviously because you made a mistake on one eye you need to do it on the other one so i need to put you know sphinx down first before i put pyramid how are we feeling about this do we like i like i like this is it's not your you know you know your everyday go to the supermarket sort of thing although i might be going to get ice cream later and i'll still have this on my eyes so you know we'll see how that goes now so under eye now i'm gonna put i wish you just take a little tiny bit of the black and run it right as close to my lash line as i can and then we're gonna take parallel which is the brown and blend it out all right i'm gonna go put on some alan do some mascara put on a lip and we'll come back and that's it i'm done do you like it i literally went and just put on like all of the jewelry all of the jewelry and we all of the jewelry hold on i need to shove you back so you can actually see this hold up hold up right there we go that's a little bit better also this bodysuit is a bodysuit this doesn't do this justice but this is like one of the most comfortable bodysuits i've ever owned it's from boo avenue and honestly they're great like these boo avenue loungewear stuff mm. and it has like an incredible amount of stretch oh god but yeah this is my makeup this is done this was fun to do i mean i will i really love that green eyeshadow and i always like to play with it and just like figure out different things to do so i thought i might as well just do it today i have absolutely nowhere to go nothing to do so you know we're in lockdown what else are we gonna do i might as well play with makeup i think i've said this before but i'm pretty sure it's obvious i have no clue how to start or end videos i just don't i'm just sat here like <laughs> what do i do I don't know why but you know what that's fine okay this is the this is the thing the string to my blinds and i should really should play with <laughs> so yeah this is the thing did you like it would you wear it do we like this do, right honestly do, do, do we like it i mean i do uh i went a little bit too ham with the blending I'm, i might have gotten some black in my crease but you know what it's fine his makeup is gonna come off anyway in a few hours so yeah I quite like it. I mean, my skin was not plain bold today with makeup, but you know, it's fine. Oh, my lip. Mm. My lip is these three. So, um, so NYX lip pencil in the shade Nude Truffle. Fenty Stunner lip paint in the shade Uncuffed. Lord knows I'm uncuffed as hell. And then is the Elf Lip Plumping Lip Gloss uh and champagne glam that is my lip because i was like this needs a nude lip i putting any sort of color or anything on it i just wouldn't have worked so i was like no you need this is a this is a nude lip sort of day and even though this dries on like really satin and pretty i wanted gloss on it also if i was wearing a mask i would have put on gloss because what's the point of wearing a mask with lip gloss on it's gonna get off so logic i don't know just saying but yeah, I hope you liked my video. I hope you this. I hope you enjoyed this. If you try it, let me know. Um, I'll put my Instagram handle here as well again because I mean, if you made it this far in my video, like you should be following me on Instagram because you should know that by now. And I mean, like you should be you, you should be subscribed to my channel if you made it this far. I had to do something right. So remember to like my video, subscribe to my channel, and share it to everybody. Your auntie, your grandma, your uncle, your dog, your cat, your neighbor, your neighbor's husband, your neighbor's wife, your neighbor's nieces and nephews, everybody. Just share it to them. 
I tell this little brown girl girl her channel, yeah? And us breaking our girl them together. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll... Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope I kept you entertained. And please remember to follow me and like this video and follow me on Instagram too. Because that's where I do most of my randomness. All the time, every single day. And I will see you in the next one. Thank you for watching. Bye, angels.